Elon Musk just announced that Tesla has chosen to discontinue production of the 2170 battery to instead focus on the 4680 cells for the Tesla Model Y. Accordingly, Giga Berlin will be forced to close for three weeks while Tesla transitions from the 2170 to the 4680 battery cells. Welcome to Tesla Today. Here, we talk about the latest news and the things Tesla is doing to transition the world to sustainable energy. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here and like our content, please subscribe and like our videos. It encourages us to make more. Elon Musk announced that thousands of 2170 battery cells would be canceled in order to produce millions of 4680 battery cells at Giga Berlin. Tesla is expected to use 4680 battery cells in the Model Y production this year. He stated that Tesla will deliver the first Giga Berlin Model Y automobiles with the most sophisticated 4680 battery technology to produce 10,000 Model Ys this year, 2022. This directly corresponds to Tesla forcing the production of 10 million battery cells. However, Tesla has only succeeded with a million 4680 battery cells so far. 1 million 4680 battery cells milestone is an incredible achievement for a company that was once expected to fail. Notwithstanding, compared to what Tesla anticipates, 1 million 4680 battery cells are still very much insufficient. Throwback to earlier this year, Panasonic announced that it would invest $700 million in expanding its battery factory in Wakayama, Japan, by bringing in new equipment to manufacture Tesla's 4680 battery cells. The factory will produce about 10 gigawatt hours of new batteries per year when it is completed, enough to power over 150,000 electric vehicles. This accounts for roughly 20% of the company's total battery manufacturing capacity, spread across factories in Japan, the United States, and other countries. This directly corresponds to Tesla forcing the production of 10 million battery cells. However, Tesla has only succeeded with a million 4680 battery cells, so far. 1 million 4680 battery cells milestone is an incredible achievement for a company that was once expected to fail. Notwithstanding, compared to what Tesla anticipates, 1 million 4680 battery cells are still very much insufficient. Throwback to earlier this year, Panasonic announced that it would invest $700 million in expanding its battery factory in Wakayama, Japan, by bringing in new equipment to manufacture Tesla's 4680 battery cells. The factory will produce about 10 gigawatt hours of new batteries per year when it is completed, enough to power over 150,000 electric vehicles. This accounts for roughly 20% of the company's total battery manufacturing capacity, spread across factories in Japan, the United States, and other countries. Although this is an impressive number for battery manufacturers, this factory has failed to meet Tesla's needs. As a result, Tesla is said to have extended its collaboration with other battery manufacturers, like Stordat, CATL, LG, and BAK. Some reports hold that Tesla is currently collaborating with Stordat to produce 4680 battery cells with a 5-minute charging time. Stordat is a company that develops ultra-fast technology to extend batteries' first and second lives. Even after a thousand cycles and 80% capacity, Stordot claims that reliable performance is maintained, that is, the point at which the performance of rival lithium-ion fast charging technology begins to deteriorate. Simultaneously, Tesla is looking for more suppliers in China to produce the 46-80 battery cells. According to a report in Chinese media, Tesla is in talks with several battery manufacturers in the country, including existing suppliers like CATL and LG. It may interest you to know that CATL's new battery plant is located only 3 kilometers away from to Tesla's Giva Shanghai, and that CATL already ships LFP cells to Tesla Giva Shanghai. This demonstrates that CATL can eventually become a partner, supplying Tesla with 4680 battery cells. Elon Musk had previously declared the 2170 cell the most powerful battery ever created. Panasonic invested $100 million in Tulsa to increase battery production at Gigafactory 1 in Nevada, which will produce the 2170 battery cells. A 5% increase in sales and storage capacity will also aid Tesla's goal of increasing the density of its 2170 cells by 20% within five years. However, this will not satisfy Elon Musk's ambitions. Tesla is currently dealing with at least two issues. Musk is interested in battery capacity and supply chain issues. At the same time, Tesla wishes to reduce the cost of Tesla EV batteries. The Model Y battery pack design is similar to that of the Model 3, so battery replacement costs will most likely be comparable as well. Price per kilowatt hour as of today. A new 7 to 5 to 82 kilowatt hour battery pack for the Model Y is estimated to cost between $10,000 and $15,000. 
Additional replacement parts, such as connectors and wiring, are occasionally required and cost between $20 and $200. The 4680 battery pack is expected to cost between $8,000 and $10,000 when released. Customers who use the new design will save approximately $7,000 as a result of this. The 4680 battery cell will store more energy and, according to Tesla, will allow for faster, cheaper, and larger size production than the 2170 battery cell, which can be arranged to form the Tesla floor, increasing the rigidity of the mid-body part and eliminating many complex components during assembly. Musk and Tesla VP Drew Baglino stated that 4680 battery cells as better battery cells are the only way the company can meet its lofty goal. Total Capacity the output will reach 3 terawatts by 2023. Compared to the worldwide electricity used per year, around 18 terawatt, however, it's still small when Musk estimates that all vehicles need to be replaced currently with electric cars that would take about 10 terawatts battery capacity to meet demand. So will Tesla's plan come true? Let us know your comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button and share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.